Hi, welcome to this part of the case. It's how to uh, connect and uh, eventually configure your Runner 250 uh, Advance. In fact, it's exactly like the firmware edition. So basically, you will need a micro uh, USB cable. Okay. So be aware when you connect it to not uh, pinch the uh, GSP cable, GPS cable there. Okay, and uh, you will need first to uh, download, uh, if it's not down, uh, on the multi-way page, the last version. So actually is the dot 2.4 version, okay? So you have to download and install it. You will need a Java uh, a framework installed on your machine. And since I am uh, already uh, unzip it and install it, and you have to go to the multi-weekend folder. And uh, if your uh, Java uh, engine is on your uh, path, you will be able to run uh, the multi-weekend. Uh, for me, I'm in the 64 uh, operating system, but you have also the 32 uh, bytes uh, one. So uh, the step to uh, configure um, is uh, first to turn on. Uh, the radio, okay. I will install it like this, normal. Then uh, I strongly advise to uh, connect uh, the uh, main uh, LiPo battery, okay. Waiting uh, a binding, okay. Now it's bound, so basically, you can turn on the motors arm uh, by pressing left okay and this arm be sure to push very well um, when is this arm you have the uh, red LEDs which turn off so you have to take your cable plug to your micro USB plug like this and I noticed and I'm, I was very shocked to discover that that if you are in Windows uh, you will need also to install your FDDI driver because it's uh, using a FDDI chip FT232 uh, well, if I'm not wrong and I was shocked to discover that the flying control board don't have a genuine model but a clone of it and with the last FDDI driver they are disabling it so if you see that on your um, uh, system configurations uh, sorry if you go to the uh, configuration panel Okay, and if you discover that on your system um, there and your uh, hardware, if you see, uh, for example, on the associate port, uh, exclamation point, it means that uh, the FDDI driver, uh, and the last one, install and disactivate it. So you will need to find on the YouTube the video how to explain. I will also. Uh, uh, copy the link of this one, how to install the former driver to bypass this problem and uh, you will be able to see and to monitor your uh, multi-way board uh, after the uh, fixing. So basically um, you have to run uh, this uh, software here, okay, uh, sorry for my small display, it's linked with my uh, higher resolution screen and you have to uh, Select the COM port of your uh, FDDI, okay, for me it's the 17 and as soon as you press on it, it's connect and you have to press on start here, okay, and wait a few seconds that the uh, data are buffering and you will see that now uh, you have the graph updated, so, uh, and you have all the uh, uh, PID's values as well as the uh, uh, flying mode, so you can see that, for example, that uh, this uh, one is uh, the uh, oxygen one, okay? As you can see, there it's playing around here. Okay, oxygen one. Uh, this one is a dual rate, is only uh, locally on the um, uh, radio, and this one is more on the oxygen two, as you can see. Uh, actually, uh, on OX2, you can see that only the uh, last value, uh, the second one, is activating the horizon mode. By default, you are either the zero or the one uh, is uh, just uh, the basic angle mode. Uh, okay, so uh, 
you have also uh, this one which is auxiliary 3 to configure the camera and uh, actually this one is not used at all so you can for example uh, um, use it uh, as a trigger okay uh, th uh, throttle hold or uh, something like that or even if it's done internally on the remote but actually only three auxiliary are used on the multi wing and uh, it's working well um, you can see that the deviation and the connection is doing well. So, okay, so to resume, uh, be sure uh, to install uh, to, uh, the MultiWid 2.4, be sure to install the FDDI driver, and uh, be aware if you are on uh, last uh, Windows, uh, there is no uh, Genion FDDI uh, chip, so you will have to probably, uh, if you are on more than uh, Windows system, to bypass to apply the fix to our. Uh, uh, change of the driver and to be uh, independent of the uh, uh, locking system of FDDI. Okay, I hope it helped. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye.